AMC stock is trying to climb out of the deep dark abyss that we were slowly starting to set into today. And let me be a matter of fact with you guys, institutional option flows over 90% bullish for the day we're still in a technical uptrend you're seeing the short interest going through the roof yet again today shorts have not covered and take a look at what benzinga says they say amc stock could go bananas if this pattern holds as well as this article it says amc versus gamestop which meme stock has real potential i think you guys will find a lot of value out of that but overall we got a lot to talk about so hit the like button subscribe to the channel and source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section that's probably the single best thing you guys could do for the community is help push these videos out to as many people as possible so they can have accurate information on where we currently sit with amc stock and and they can make a better judgment for their own personal situation what they should do so let's get into this video if you guys want to come join the trading community link down below in the pin comment and the link to follow me on twitter down below in the pin comment as well all right guys before we get into that key information let's talk about what is causing this move back down for amc stock as well as the broad markets you guys can see we've been taking a little move down since i started to film this video and it comes from the fed it says fed george current inflation surge has not yet been embedded in economy so that should be good but it says current inflation surge different than what volcker fed faced that's the fed in the 70s where they, have to, where they had to raise rates to 20 percent to get that 19 percent inflation down so that's what the markets are kind of worried about but he says again neutral funds rate likely around 2.5 percent but much in flux and they he said that they need to move appropriate to exponentially raise rates to neutral. He also says a soft landing is possible, but not guaranteed. And he also says Fed balance sheet influxing shape of yield curve. So, you know, those are not good statements. And that's what is really causing the markets to sell off right now. I've been telling you guys, this market is really dependent on headlines. So when you get bad headlines like that, the markets do not react favorably to them like you can see right here it's just not been a, a a good road over the last couple of minutes since those statements did come out now let's get into some of this key information like the ortex data on amc stock like i just said shorts have not been covering that is not what we are seeing and it says current short interest of free float 20.85 percent current shares that are sold short 107.46 million cost of bar max of 5.37 percent utilization of 100 percent days cover of 2.56 now the borrow shares for the day of 4.43 million return shares of 3.29 million so what's this trend here well Stock that was sold short for the day of about 1.14 million shares. So the short interest continues to climb as AMC stock has went up. Short continue to short the stock. And that's likely what happened yesterday. If you guys are unfamiliar, what probably happened is that they put in a bunch of buy orders to get that halt and then time their sell orders, their shorting activity to uh, make that halt just tank the stock. That's what happened. Call it manipulation. I like to call it manipulation because that's what it is. But uh, nonetheless, that's the shit that we're going to battle in the meantime. And it looks like the markets are taking another move down. Yeah, AMC and the markets are correlating today. Like I said, there's a risk off tone to the markets, So everything is kind of selling off today. But things that have rallied a lot recently have been selling off a lot more. So keep that in mind. It'll, it'll likely change towards the end of the day. I would be surprised to see a sell-off down to these lows again, but who does exactly know? Now, to the option activity for the institutional investors for the day, you're seeing 63 orders totaling $40.62 million, positive order value of 91%. And take a look at some of these options. April 1st, 2750 call for about $30,000. Uh, $25 call for June. A $25 call for April 14th, April 14th, April 1st, $30 call for $28,000. A lot of these April 1st calls that are coming through, that's kind of why I think you're going to see some kind of rally throughout the rest of this week. I really don't think we're going to just trade sideways or head down because of all of this option activity. You're almost looking at a billion dollars total that has been bought uh, in options for AMC stock over the past week, 77% of that has been bullish. So it's around six, $700 million worth of options that have been bought on AMC stock. So looking pretty damn good. 
in that regard shorts have not been covering whatsoever so you can't call this a short squeeze at all because the short interest has continued to climb now let's get into what else i wanted to talk about and it's these articles so it says why amc entertainment stock could go bananas if this pattern holds now it says uh amc stock was trading more than eight percent lower on wednesday after skyrocketing 166 percent higher between march 14th and tuesday when the stock printed a temporary top at the 34 33 mark and they're talking about these inside bars and if we take a look at exactly what they're saying it's it's this activity in here right these bars these prior support levels these important just levels overall basically saying if we can remain above about $26 per share, then it looks like we will uh, go bananas in their words. Now, I will link this down below in the description if you guys want to read the whole article. There's a little bit too much to sit here and read, and it's a little too boring to sit here and read that in this video, but I will link it down below in the description of this video if you guys want to take a look. Now, it does say right here, AMC versus GameStop, which meme stock has real potential? And it, it, it goes down to say here, let's just go to the conclusion. Concluding views. It's clear that some meme stocks are better than others. GameStop looks increasingly like a bad play, and it never looked all that good to begin with. Its business model is still very much dependent on used physical titles. That's bad news in an increasingly digital environment. Its ability to engage in in much change is also limited. With a massive downside potential, minimal and declining hedge fund investment, and no real dividend value to speak of, AMC stock uh, or GameStop stock continues to look like a bad investment plan. AMC, however, is different. Branching out into precious metals gives it a whole new edge and a perfect market for bad times as well as good. Considering the company is set to find more of these transformative deals, this could be a start of something big. Though AMC has its own substantial downside risk, it also has more justification for keeping its current pricing than GameStop does. That says both AMC and GameStop are risky right now. However, AMC does seem to have a better chance of paying off on that risk than GameStop does. So I'd be cautious making an investment in either uh, of the two. But AMC looks like it might be about to start something big. So some pretty positive things to say overall about good old Amy. Now, some other news that is moving the markets that is not necessarily a good thing. It says China and Russia are more determined to develop bilateral ties and boost cooperation. Chinese foreign minister said following a meeting in China with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. And it also says Bank of, Bank of America warned stock surge is bear market trap with curve inverted. Yes, that is true. But when the yield curve does invert, you typically see about 19% gains in the S and p 500 alone before the recession actually does come so in a weird way it's foreshadowing a recession is going to come sometime into the future but it's usually a moment where a lot of people do start to buy the dip so keep that in mind that did invert yesterday and it is currently inverted as well today now let's get into some of the other things that did happen today we had economic data that did come out baby we had a gdp quarter over quarter that came out that missed expectations that's partly why the markets are down today you had adp non-farm employment change that actually was positive that was a slight beat and that's the real big things that happened today the gdp numbers and um uh, core PCE actually came out right as expected, so nothing too crazy there. And the non-farm employment change was good. On Friday, you do have the uh, labor data as well that does come out, and that's going to be very important. You guys have already heard about that many, many times, and that's the big data uh, point that markets are going to be paying attention to on Friday. So keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of... Uh, uh, volatility throughout the next couple of days especially watch to see if we get a dump into friday as we typically have over the weekends it's usually not a good time to hold stock they can bring anything right anything can happen over the weekend so watch out for that one as far as amc is actually concerned let's take a look at the overall technical picture here and considering this is a major risk off day the fact we're only down 8.66 percent is not bad we're still above our 100 day moving average which Keep in mind, my price target for the end of this week on Sunday was for AMC to close in between the 100-day and the 200-day moving averages. I would have been happy with that. 
and we're still well above the 100 day moving average that is at $24.32 per share so uh, I, I, th I think it's going to be pretty hard to close under that for today so overall it's going to be a very very uh, good day in that regard now $25 is also a key level to be watching for we're at $26.88 per share right now so I don't think we're going to break under that but still that's going to be the key level and really with these rallies rallies don't just go straight up so it really comes down to where does the stock find strength on the down days and we're definitely finding strength a lot higher than one would expect us to considering this 166 percent rally that we have seen to give back 8.83 percent of it not bad in my personal opinion the macd is uh, the spread here very, very wide, indicating a bullish pattern is currently in uh, formation. And you can see the trend line right here. Let's go ahead and just extend this out. And even if we were to fall to this trend line, which would be around uh, $24 as well, around the 100-day moving average, you'd still be in a bullish uptrend and you are actually starting to see AMC stock bounce up just a little bit right now. And as well in this article, like I said, go ahead and read this for your guys' self. But it does call out this that the RSI did get overbought and it this cool off today does let it go back down to normal levels so it can give us that room to make that next rally and that's obviously going to be a very very good thing if that does happen volume is lower on the day only about 70 million for volume so another interesting thing right there and if you see on stock twits uh where stock twits add up here that AMC is not even in the top 10 most talked about stocks for the day. So you're not really seeing that retail activity today. You're not seeing all of that extra buying power that is uh, coming from retail investors that are getting jacked to the tits in stock tweets or other forms and buying the stock. So, you know, definitely good. Just, just wait and just wait and see. Just be patient with AMC. That's what I would say. Um, and, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Now is not the time to panic. Now is, might be the time to buy some calls if uh, that's what you believe is going to happen. So nonetheless, that's really what you guys need to know as far as any technicals are concerned. Still a lot of option activity, but uh, nothing particularly uh, huge to continue to drive us to the upside. But a lot of institutional investors that are putting on those bullish option activities like we already went over 91 percent option uh positive order value of uh 40.83 million dollars so that's huge and this just looks like a consolidation move so we can finally get that next move to the upside now as far as the federal funds rate the projected interest rate increase at the next meeting uh, that's sitting at about 67.2% for the day. Yesterday was at eight, uh, was at 68.3%. So I'm surprised it's actually implying a less probability for a half percent rate hike. Uh, and nonetheless, you're not really seeing the markets react to that because there's things that are outweighing that, like some of the bad data that did come out today, the Russia, China news, as well as the Fed statements that did just come out out but overall the situation is looking looking very very good at the current moment we're just waiting for that next rally to the upside i am very excited with what i am seeing i hope you guys found value out of this video if you did hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this to keep you guys up to date with the most in-depth comp comprehensive data that you need to know around amc stock it's not time to be scared in my personal opinion the party has only just got started if you guys want to come trade with us like i said link down below in the pinned comment as well as get yourself those free stocks down below in the description when you sign up for mumu deposit one dollar you'll get three free stocks as well as an additional free share of neo upon your one dollar deposit clearing so check that out if you guys have not already i will see you guys in the next one